Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Review Redmi used to release only one note per year, but now they produce a series annually. Despite this, the classic plain, suffix less note is a fan favorite. The traditional note reflects the philosophy of the series, great performance at an incredibly low price. This year has seen multiple Notes 11 releases so far, including the Redmi Note 11 the original. The Redmi Note 11 does not have a strikingly eye-catching design, unlike some of the preceding models in the Note series. It features a tall display and thin bezels along with a thicker chin and punch hole notch on the front. However, the back feels basic as it has a plastic finish. The Starburst Y variant has a color gradient and glitter that makes it both colorful and shimmery. But this gives it an overall not-so-premium feeling. The Redmi Note 11 of may not be the most attractive note, but it provides a good hand feel. It is 159.87 by 73.87 by 8.09 mm and 179 grams, making it relatively slim and light despite its large battery. Its flat sides give it a modern look that contributes to its solid construction quality. Some may not appreciate the plastic back, but overall it is solid in build quality. The Samsung Note 11 boasts a 6.43 inch Full HD plus AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 90 Hz. This creates great contrast and vivid colors, though it tops out at 1000 nits max brightness. Compared to the 1100 nits peak brightness of its predecessor, the Note 10. Nevertheless, the display is still remarkably readable in the brightest light and is the best in its price range. The phone is designed to be a productivity device rather than a powerful gaming device. It will function well for everyday tasks and can handle basic games but won't be as capable with high-end games. You may be able to play some demanding games, but not at the highest settings. The quad camera setup on the Redmi Note 11 is led by a 50 megapixel main sensor. It produces good detail and color when there is sufficient light. Although details are lost when the lighting conditions become poorer. The 8 megapixel ultra wide view offers a different perspective, however with reduced detail. While the two 2 megapixel sensors do not offer much use. Close shots can be captured better using the main lens instead of the macro lens and portrait photos are sometimes accurately captured, but often have mixed results. The video quality of the phone is decent in well-lighted areas, but it struggles in conditions with low lighting. While this phone has no capability to produce 4K videos, it does have a 13 megapixel selfie camera that produces bright and slightly smooth selfies that can be shared. The Redmi Note 11 features a 5000 mAh battery with 33 watts Pro Fast Charge support, and an adapter is included in the box. It can last up to one and a half days of normal usages, such as app hopping and social media scrolling. With careful use, two days of battery life is achievable. The 33 watts fast charge gets the phone from zero to full in just over an hour, which is faster than chargers from prior models.